The Colombian cowboy tradition was born primarily in the Eastern Plains. It is still very important work for the cattle ranch. Let's remember that it's not just the movement of cattle, but also a large number of activities centered around cattle ranching. From this tradition originates the events that are included in today's rodeo. Today, the rodeo is a sport which many people enjoy watching with their families. Sandra Ruiz spoke to us about this subject. In the larger equine world, the rodeo has become a pastime, a family sport, a sport which you can share with your family, from your brother to your dad to your cousin. And it is a sport that in a way has become a family. Now we are friends of the cowboys in the Valle of the cowboys from Antioquia, of the cowboys from the Eastern Plains. So there is always constant contact through cowboy events. Everything we just heard from these people speaks to their beginnings and to the activities they carry out as part of this discipline. It's just the beginning of what we will see in this program. One of the most important elements in the Colombian cowboy tradition is the braided rope. This should be made from cowhide, bull, or buffalo leather, and cut by hand using traditional methods. As part of these cowboy rodeo events, we find calf roping in the shortest time possible. Tests of speed in herding or separating livestock, barrel racing tests, pole bending tests. From this, we talked to Maria, Luisa, and Sandra. In cowboy rodeos here in Colombia, we do three or four activities. But what we have done today is barrel racing, which are timed races whereby you compete a circuit through three barrels. And the fastest person to complete it wins. The same with pole bending. It's a timed competition. You run in a zigzag that is technically very difficult to do well. It is a skill that requires a lot of adrenaline, a lot of speed, with very well-prepared horses. And those are two categories that attract a lot of children and women. And also do the lassoing which is the most popular competition event in Colombia. It is the most popular of all the contests. It consists of lassoing a calf. In the case of the rodeo, in the shortest time, and in the case of the Colombian cowboy tradition, the goal is to rope it and try to get the most points for roping the cow. The cowboy tradition encompasses various events, one is the lasso. The lasso is divided in various styles. One is the rolled lariat. The lariat is a rope that normally we use in these mountain areas. It is a rope made with multiple braids, so it can be thrown farther. Meanwhile, in the flat areas, they use a stiffened rope, which is a kind of universal cattle rope. Also, there's barrel racing, where you measure the horse's skills in agility and in racing. Another is the zigzag test, or baras test, which also shows the agility of the horse with reins and speed. The next issue is key to obtaining the best results in all horse-related activities. In this case of cowboys, we refer to horsemanship. When we talk about horsemanship, we refer to the interaction between the man and the horse. It should be a relationship based on trust, communication, and understanding. One which tries to get the best results without the need of using force or intimidation, thus achieving harmony and teamwork. Today, my focus will be on rational doma, based on punishment and affection, that is, do good or do bad. Today, I employ a method that allows me to perfect my horsemanship and to understand the point of view of a horse. It is a joint effort between the human and the horse. 
It's not just making demands on the animal, but to put oneself in his place and to try to understand what he needs in order to have the desire to be with you, to be willing to work with you and recruit him for the task we demand of him. It is ideal that the horse used for cowboy tasks be a balanced horse. That is to say, that its front quarters should be proportional with its hind quarters. For the horse, being balanced means greater ease of movement, and it makes it much easier for the horse to perform the maneuvers we order it to do. It is very important to take into account not only the physical balance, but also the mental balance of our horses when starting their training or when performing a specific activity. Well, when we talk about the ideal phenotype of the horse, we are going to talk about the quarter horse, which is the one we work with the most. I like all of the horses, regardless of the breed, but I am spending a little more time with Western riding, which requires a balanced horse. Why are we talking about balanced horses? Their body needs to have a good balance. Their front legs and their back should be proportional to the balance and the size of their hand quarters so that the animal is balanced. When the horse is balanced, it has easy mobility. It makes it much easier to do the maneuvers we tell him. It is very important to learn how to use the reins correctly so as to ride the horse in a fluid and natural way. This allows the rider to correct the behavior of the horse and improves their relationship together. I'm going to talk about something that I particularly like a lot. Let's talk about the reining of the horse, not thinking of show horses or anything like that. I like to talk about horse reins in the following way. Having control of the body of the horse, the exercises, the tasks that are necessary, so that we can dominate the body of the horse and have control of the animal, like flexing, sometimes the hind legs and sometimes the back, so that this animal, if it is well trained, with a good foundational training, with training in Western style reining, this horse can, from that point onwards, perform well on any reining competition. It can be good at barrel racing, it can be a good lasso horse, or it can be a good Western horse. Have good flexing. I am going to talk a little about the people who want to ride horses. I am used to making a clear distinction between the behavior of a person who climbs a horse and rides him any which way, who lets the horse walk any way it feels like, and separate that from the behavior of someone who wants to ride and understand the horse, who relates to the horse independently of whatever task they are going to do as a professional or as an amateur with the horse. I tell them, Mount and seek to understand the horse, ride very well with the very important foundation of riding so as to be able to demand something of the horse. That is a very important thing. <laughs> Cowboy competitions originated from the daily activities of the ranch cowboy, which led them through natural evolution to develop these abilities, which were later converted into tests of skill. A quarter horse breed demonstrates its versatility in the variety of competitions that it participates in. Alvaro Benoit spoke to us about this breed. Of the quarter horse, I value its kindness, its intelligence. The development of this breed has revolved around working with cattle. It is a horse that has a chip programmed to work on the farm. So all of these advantages and qualities make it so every day one falls more in love with the breed. In many of the competitions, the horse can be injured by excessive use of force on the part of the rider. However, Regulations around the world seek to prevent and minimize such injuries. This is something, animal abuse, which is something that we complain about a lot. And worldwide, people are aware. For example, in the case of the barrels or in the case of any of the competitions, no horse can bleed, which they can do through their mouth. The horse can be injured because it is growing out new molars or shedding dentures. A bleeding horse is a clear no-no. 
nor can they bleed on the sides due to excessive pressure or excessive spurring. The exit judge, who is at the last section of the ring, verifies that when the horse crosses the line, it is not bleeding in any way. At the moment the horse is clearly bleeding, the judge disqualifies it. Neither the horse nor the rider will be allowed to participate and they will be eliminated from the competition. In turn, it seeks to protect the horses with some elements that prevent injuries. We're very vigilant about protecting our horses. We use shin guards that use protectors, horse hooves, which protect the hooves, and we protect the rear knuckles. We protect the legs. It is one of the biggest qualities that these horses have. They have a magnificent stance, and the leg protectors are used particularly when they move backwards so they can slide on the sand and not burn their knuckles and become scared to stop. This is something we complain about a lot in the protection of the structural part of the horse, like in cases of abuse by the rider of the animal. Later, Alvaro gave us more information about the barrel competition, one of the most popular cowboy activities. In the barrel competition, they are judged on various things. We assign a ranking according to the number of participants in the event. For example, if there are 25 barrel riders, they may get 25 points through the last competitor. That is, all competitors who enter and make at least one round will be entitled to earn points. This point goes towards global rankings, and the ranking gives the qualification to the category in which they belong. In the barrel test, they take the following route. They go in a cloverleaf pattern, so if you can see towards the back, there are the two posts where there are two sensors. This is the start-finish line. The barrel test, they take the following route. They go in a cloverleaf pattern, so if you can see towards the back, there are the two posts where there are two sensors. This is the start-finish line. If we capture this on paper, it would draw a perfect three-leaf clover. You can set out on either side. In the opposite case, it will be the first barrel on the left-hand side, the second on the right, the third on the right, and crosses the finish line. To finish off, let's look at the training and education of quarter horses. We have a basic education, which is the education we give all quarter horses. I compare it to school age, after they finish school, which I calculate in a horse with good ability should be between four and six months. We stop specializing the horse. This depends on the goals of the owner or the rider and on which discipline they want to focus. Then it is going to be a horse that we will prepare for barrel racing. Lassoing genes goes to lasso. If it's cutting genes, then they go on to team penning, and some go on to cutting. So we're looking for the lines, the genetics, that tell us what discipline we should prepare the horse for. And at that higher education stage, we can now spend another six, eight, or ten months waiting for the horse to mature. They are very precocious horses that at the age of 20 months we are renting out. Before they turn three years old, they are horses that are practically tamed. So we are giving time for this horse to finish its growth. So it finishes growing at five years old. We need some degree of patience. A highly competitive horse should be five years old and up. Mancha, ahí viene el hombre, mancha, ahí viene el hombre, mancha, corrige, corrige.